All right, on to the third part of the tape. All right, we, we talked about the float step. We talked about the dribble step. Remember on the first clip of this tape, I, was, I said that there are three categories. All right, the third category is the loaded step. All right, so right after the dribble step happens, if you keep holding on to the ball and reading the game, you're going to get to a point like we have right here. Okay, where you're loading up the outside foot and your back foot now is off the ground. This almost has the same feeling as a drop, but on the drop, you have two feet on the ground. You're able to shoot off the drop counter or drive straight off the drop. Off the loaded step, you don't have as many options. All right, and you're, usually you get to it mid drive, but you can also get to it out of the drop. You know, you get past that initial drop. And then you get to a point where you're you're shifted so much that you're loading up that outside leg so that your back foot is off the ground. OK, so two differences between the drop, same feel with the loaded step, but your back foot is is off the ground. Your momentum has gone past the point of the drop. All right. So here, Murray, great loaded step. All right. Since his back foot is off the ground. He elects, this is, this is why on loaded steps, the change of direction is usually the go-to. So here he's going to push cross. The ball goes first, then the leg, then the feet, okay? And then now, this is the next point of this clip. we got a lot going on on this clip, okay? Jolt, dribble, all right? So naturally, when you push cross, the ball is going to come back to your pocket. Now, if the defense is kind of around that area, you may want to discontinue that dribble as low to the ground as possible. Okay, and you do that with a jolt dribble. Basically, you bring your hand to the ball to discontinue that that momentum uh, to the pocket. All right, so you cut you cut that dribble short, right? And now you continue another dribble called the jolt dribble. Here, Jamal Murray has two jolt dribbles. Hopefully, you can see it. Okay, then he's going to end up after the second jolt dribble. He's going to have a float step which he elects to make that decision on the float step to gather, all right, right into two-step layup. All right, let's keep this clip paused before we even start, okay? So Damian Lillard's going to take take a few steps here with the dribble, okay? So we'll keep it paused. He's going to end up taking a float step to start. He's going to make it heavy, okay? His hand right now, you can tell, is already on top of the ball. So therefore, he's not hanging on to it. They won't have that opportunity to feel or make a loaded step decision. Again, after the dribble steps are completed, the hand is on the side of the ball. Players have the ability to kind of pause and shift their weight on one side of the body, okay, to feel that loaded step position that I'm talking about. Okay, it happens after the dribble step, and if you hang on to the ball, if you can pause yourself and really, you know, feel that shifting of the body. All right, so we'll, let's hit play right here. You'll see the float step heavy right there. Okay, there's a dribble step. The ball, the hand's on top, so he won't be able to feel a load step there. There's a float step. Okay, the whole step is completed. Now you see that? Now we'll pause it. Do you see how the hand is on the side of the ball off this dribble step? Okay, so he didn't make a dribble step decision here. He's holding on to it. And now we'll hit play. And now freeze it. Now he's making a loaded step. That's it right there. He gets to that extra stage past that dribble step. We can hang on to the ball and make it have more time to read the game. Now there's that shift of the body on the right side. You see his left leg is, is elevated. It's off the ground. Okay, now from here, this loaded step position, he's going to make a push cross. Most loaded step decisions are change of direction ones. Okay, so here's a push cross. Okay, now we'll freeze it. See how Draymond Green, I believe, his hands are down there also with Lillard. So now to protect the ball, Lillard is going to jolt dribble. All right, we'll hit play. And you'll see that. It's great right there. Discontinuing the dribble. Okay, and now from here, there's a dribble step decision. Doesn't have anything. Gets to a float step to gather. Okay, so he's going to make the decision to gather and shoot this touch layup or this touch floater. You see how his wrist is going backwards? Touch floater off the first step. All right, when we play this Jamal Murray here, let's pause it. On this float step, 
you're going to see a, a full float step because of the dribble release jab that he did previously. Because of the dribble release, you're going to see a full float step. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it. Look at that full stride right here. Okay, now pause it on this dribble step. Okay, so you see how Murray, the, the pocketing of the ball, okay, he's, he can make decisions here with the dribble step, which he's not going to. He's going to keep the ball in his pocket. All right, and it's going to extend past the dribble step and really feel that pause for the loaded step. Okay, you're going to really see it once we hit play. Let's hit play. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, we'll hit pause. Okay, that's a, that's a really good loaded step. You see the weight? You can see it's all on the left side of his body. His right foot, you can't see his right foot here, but I'm sure it's elevated. Okay, and the ball is pocketed. From here, he's going to get to a push cross. All right, immediately find a float step and then gather with, with uh, two foot accountability. All right, let's see it. All right, a lot of skills happening on this clip. All right, on the float step, Jamal Murray, pound dribbles into a spin seal. All right, goes opposite of where he's looking initially. All right, drives away from the defense, quickly gets to the load step. Now, jolt dribbles really good, okay? Now, on the dribble step, doesn't have anything. On the float step now, he is seeing the space in front of him. He's going to use a power stop, all right? Watch his right foot on the, the first step after the float step. Right there, he angles it, right? He angles his foot because he knows he's going into this two-foot finish. Now, the left foot's coming down. All right, now, this is a really, really good clip. Again, uh, things you can do in practice, right? Hang time, test your athleticism. You know, he, here he spins in the air. But these are all good things to, skills to have. Can you shoot layups on the way down? Can you shoot layups in tough situations? And then still find that backboard and have the ability to aim and place the ball where you want it to go off the backboard. All right, Damian Lillard here gets to a good drop. If he carries his momentum, which he will, there's a loaded step. Hit pause. Okay, so that's getting past the point of a drop. Let your momentum carry you. Hang the ball in the air with, in the pocket, and you'll feel that pause point that, that, you, that you'll feel mid-drive, that you can feel mid-drive. Okay, so he finds his loaded step past his drop. Okay, from here he's going to push cross. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, there's traffic in the way, so he's going to use jolt dribbles. All right, there's one right there. There's And then he gets to a dribble decision off the step right there. It doesn't have anything. Now on the float step, puts it on the ground and decides to gather. He's got two steps, but he's got a lot of traffic in the way. All right, Damian Lillard here is going to skip, find a drop, carry his momentum to the point where he finds a loaded step, make the decision to push cross, okay? Now, there's traffic in the way, so there's a good jolt dribble right there. Our Chris Paul is going to find a drop, All right, end up countering with a cross. Okay, good drop cross right there. Okay, float step, doesn't have anything, keeps his dribble going. All right, gets past the dribble step to a loaded step, makes a decision to drop cross. Okay, so he's going to make a loaded step decision to drop cross. Nothing on the float step. Nothing on the dribble step, doesn't hang the dribble. Okay, now you can see it. He sees the spot, makes a float step decision to skip jump stop into a shot with a nice little fade. All right, let's watch Kemba Walker here. Really on that dribble step, his hand's not even connected to the, to the ball, so he can't make a decision. A float step, he decides to skip. Okay, that's going to give him some momentum to find that drop. And past the drop is a loaded step. He makes a decision to push cross. Gets to another loaded step because he hangs that ball. Now makes a decision to drop cross. Okay, now off the float step, nothing going there. On the area of dribble step, nothing going. Float step, making the decision to gather. Look at the first step now. Kind of makes that heavy. So then on the second step, he can get into the body. All right, with Murray here. Just really pay attention. We'll let it run. 
pay attention to the point of finding that loaded step. Okay, getting past that dribble step, find that loaded step. There's a push cross. Okay, now look at his steps. Look at him get past the dribble step and kind of finding that shifted position with the loaded step to another push cross. Okay, now on the float step decision, he decides to gather. He's going to shoot the layup off the first step. I could have done better with the video angle here. Uh, but anyways, this is a good example of a loaded step. Damian Lillard gets to a loaded step, all right, and then goes through the legs. So we've shown loaded step, push cross, loaded step, drop cross. This is a loaded step to a through the legs dribble. Okay, Kemba Walker here. All right, he's going to find a drop. Out of here, he's going to get into his driving steps. Okay, the first one will be the float step. It's got a full stride. Okay, nothing going. Now on the dribble step, we'll pause it. So you can tell already right here, on this dribble step, all right, that hand, Kemba Walker's uh, ball hand, is going to be on the side. Okay, so therefore, he's finding a pocket. And he's going to be able to then uh, have an extra read past that dribble step, okay, which is the loaded step. His weight will be shifted on the left side of his body. Okay, let's go ahead and hit play. All right, from this loaded step decision, okay, he's going to make a counter to the push cross. So we'll hit pause. All right, so instead of push crossing, he's going to read that he doesn't have it and he's going to turn dribble. Okay, he's going to end up turn dribbling and going. This actually is a is how you would teach in and out play. Okay, you, you would teach it to replicate a push cross, but really it's a counter to it, it's a read. Okay, in a game, you find that loaded step, and from there, instead of push crossing, you come back with the turn dribble. Okay, and that ends up looking like a really good in and out move. Okay, so from this turn dribble and go, he's going to immediately find a float step, a full stride that he's not going to make a decision off. Okay, now let's hit pause on this dribble step. You see how the hand is on top of the ball? Because of that, the next he's going right into a float step decision. There's not going to be a loaded step decision because, again, the ball is not hanging in the air. He's not able to, to get to that extra, you know, past that dribble strip, that, that that extra bit where he can find a loaded step, that pause point, okay, because his hand's on top, so he's going to immediately go into a float step. Let's go ahead and hit play, which will make a decision now to get into a gather, okay? So on the first step, he's going to get into this touch floater. Look at that. Look at the wrist. It's going to end up going back. All right, Kemba Walker here. He's going to find a drop, counter with a drop cross. Okay, from this immediate float step, step okay, out of it, his head's down. So he's using his driving steps. Float step, dribble step, float step. He, you see how his head's up? All right, from that, he's reading the game. He finds, we'll hit pause. He finds this pause point, okay, this loaded step past the dribble step. Okay, you can tell because right after the float step, his eyes are up, starting to hang the ball and read the game, okay, off of that step. Okay, so now off this loaded step, okay, He's going to give the impression of a push cross. Just watch Marcus Saul once we hit play. All right. But he's going to use a turn dribble and go. Put this all together. It's a really, really nice in and out move that coaches would teach. Okay. So let's hit play. Turn dribble. See Marcus Saul. He's thinking crossover. Turn dribble and go. Dribble step out of it. Okay. Has nothing. And now on the float step, he decides to gather and extend with his gather. Shoot the layup off the first step. All right, let's take a look at Westbrook here. He finds a good open drop. Feet are wide, stance is wide, not split. Okay, ends up push crossing. Immediate float step, has nothing. Dribble step, his eyes are up. Okay, uh, right into a, another float step, his dribble. Okay, now we'll hit pause. Okay, so that's a good loaded step right there. It gets past that dribble step. All right, see how the ball is pocketed. It's that, that extra read you know, past that dribble step, that extra read, okay? His left foot is up off the ground. His weight is shifted to the right side. Okay, now from here, he's going to turn dribble. And instead of going out of it, see, because the, the in and out move, the, the turn dribble is happening pretty much in the paint. He, he can just utilize his steps to get to the rim, okay? So he's going to turn dribble and then take, and then gather and take those two steps. All right, let's take a look. All right, same thing with, with this example. Michaelic on the Pistons. All right, he's going to end up finding his loaded step uh, a little bit above the free throw line area. 
okay, from here he's going to get to that loaded step and turn dribble and jab with that right foot, which is going to open up two-foot accountability for him to, to get to the rim, to sneak a layup by Steven Adams. All right, the last two clips, making a decision off the loaded step to turn dribble and gather for a layup, there's a natural jab that happens. That jab is simultaneous with the dribble, okay? I do not want this to be confused with a float step jab. I'll show an example of a float step jab for a layup on the next clip. We've talked about float step jabs before on, previ on a previous tape, okay? That is making a decision off the float step when the ball is not in your hands on the dribble, okay, on the inside step, the float step, making a decision to jab. All right, this loaded step decision to, to turn dribble produces a natural jab, all right, that's not controllable. All right, so let's watch Harden here with this clip versus a uh, drop pick and roll defense, okay? Nothing on the dribble step. Nothing on the float step. See that dribble step now? He's got a full stride. Okay, now he's making a decision. You see how the weight is on the left side of uh, Harden's body? He's making that decision late to turn dribble. That turn dribble, see how that dribble and the jab is simultaneous? It's a natural jab. Okay, from there he gathers and he has two foot accountability. Because of that jab, it opens up his left hip to take one step and control it where he wants to, and then take another step after that. All right, Luka Doncic here will not find a loaded step throughout this drive. His hand's gonna be on top of the ball the whole way through, okay? He's gonna come off a pick and roll, the big's going to be in drop, pick, and roll coverage. All right, he's going to go between his steps, his float steps and dribble steps, okay? And I want you guys to see a float step jab here. That decision is made on the float step where the ball is out of Luka Doncic's hands on the dribble, and he can clearly think on the inside step, the float step, to make a decision, okay, to jab, all right? So it's going to be dribble, then jab, whereas a loaded step decisions to turn dribble, it's going to produce a natural jab that the player would not be able to control. Okay, so let's watch this. All right, he's going to come off using a skip. All right, he's going to find a drop, come off the pick and roll, toggle between float steps and dribble steps. Notice how the hand is on top of the basketball. There are no loaded step opportunities here, okay, to make decisions. Okay, now on this dribble step, he's going to let go of the ball, and then he's going to jab, all right? He's going to decide to have a float step jab. That jab will open up his hips to have two-foot accountability on the layup, okay? We talked about on previous tapes, that float step jab usually uh, gets into some sort of escape footwork, you know, step back or, you know, whatnot. Uh, this one, he's so close to the rim, he can gather quickly and have two-foot accountability. All right, LaMelo Ball here. Okay, he uses a heavy step on the dribble step, okay, to slow mid-drive, right, to basically read the game. Okay, now from here, he gets to a float step. Okay, then he gets to a loaded step. All right, doesn't look very loaded. I know that, but the reason why I'm saying that it's a loaded step is I, real, I really feel like most of this type of layup happens, the decision happens on the loaded step. Okay, because look at the next step, which would be the float step. You see how he angles his foot? He already knows to do that. I feel like before that float step even even occurs, okay, just so he can position it. Therefore, I think that this decision is made off a loaded step. All right, so this is called an extended stop. All right, it's going to be an inside outside stop. So here it would be a right foot, left foot, two foot stop, and it allows him to glide past 
the defense. It extends past the defense. All right, this is going to be a tough angle to see the layup, but great example of Walker on the push. Then he uses an inside dig and attacks out of the drop. Okay, now float step. All right, he's nice and low, not, nothing there. Okay, then the, the dribble step. All right, so he's going to gather quickly on the dribble step, loaded step combination. Okay, from here, he's going to decide, Kemba Walker is going to decide to get into an extended stop. All right, so the next float step, he's going to actually angle his foot accordingly, all right, to glide past the defense. All right, Jamal Murray here. Okay, he's going to side jab and go. He's going to get into a heavy step. Remember, all in one step, you can read the game, you can refine your footwork, kind of reset, and kind of refine a drop. Okay, if now. Gets to a dribble step, nothing. Float step, nothing. Okay, now we'll freeze it right here on this loaded step. Okay, he's going to take the dribble, angle his footwork to get into an extended stop. All right, so let's take a look at that. See his feet and watch him glide. All right, let's watch Paul George in transition. Okay, starts off with an open drop, feet are wide. Not really a split stance. Okay, now on the float step, let's pause it. All right, really, this is a heavy step. And instead of a heavy step to read and kind of refine a drop, he heavies and gets into an inverted drop position and goes out of it, okay, with an inside dig. Let's go ahead and watch that. Okay, there's that inverted drop and go. Okay, he kind of digs with his inside foot. Okay, now we'll pause it on this loaded step. All right, he's going to decide to get into a turn dribble and go, okay? He's going to sell that push cross, or maybe he's thinking push cross, and he ends up uh, feeling that he doesn't have it. So he turn dribbles and goes out of it. All right, let's go ahead and watch that. All right, the jab with the right foot opens up the hip. Okay, now we'll freeze it. He's going to keep his dribble alive. Okay, instead of gathering and taking the two steps, he's going to find another loaded step sort of position and a read. Okay, from here, He's going to angle his right foot, take the dribble, angle his right foot, and get into an extended stop. Extended stop. All right, this is a Hall of Fame clip right here. Okay, Campbell Walker, he's going to make three uh, slow down reads. Okay, the first one's going to be off the skip, off the float step. All right, that's going to reignite the drop basically and have him have a lot of time to read the game. Then comes Another float step he's going to make heavy. All right, so another heavy step. He's going to read the game, kind of reignite the drop again. Right, and then immediately on the next float step, he's going to make that heavy again, okay, to read the game. All right, now at the end of the dribble step, all right, I just call this a loaded step because it happens so late. He's going to make that decision to extend it stop. You can almost see it. it's right before he places that dribble down. Okay, so now this is a really good example of the footwork on a on an extended stop just watch that angling of the inside foot the left foot followed by the right foot really really good example all right let's hit pause here so the last part of the of the tape let's talk about some more advanced uh moves off of the off the loaded step all right so let's watch bays here let's hit play guys like bays westbrook um Giannis, let's hit pause again we'll use pushes they'll pull forward to basically take up space versus the defender defenders are usually backing up off these guys okay let's hit play again base is going to go from a push to a, now he's going to inside dig let's hit pause he's going to inside dig to to really you know refine his drop you know he sees something he doesn't like he kind of resets his drop with the inside dig all right now hit play again he gets past that drop point hit pause you know into a loaded step and he's making a loaded step decision right here Okay, the loaded step, you can tell, you can see the right foot off the ground. He's kind of loading up on the left leg, the left side of the body. Okay, from here, we're going to talk about swing steps off the loaded step, making off the loaded step decision. Okay, so you could also make swing steps off of a float step decision. Okay, this is off the loaded step decision because right now, Baze is going to know he's going to, he's going to punch dribble. And he's going to early gather and dig with his right foot. So let's go ahead and see that. Punch, dribble, early grab. Okay, pause. Now, in order to swing, 
his his left foot over, okay, he had to do this. All right, so all a swing set step is is on the gather, are you swinging your your leg across the defender's body? All right, that's the swing step. It's on the gather. So now he has one step off the gather. So we'll go ahead and watch that swing step. That counts as the first step, and he has one more step that he can legally take. All right, Baisley here is going to get, he's going to find his loaded step off the drop. So he's going to skip. There's the drop. All right, now if you slow mo it a little bit further, there is the loaded step. Okay, from here, he's making the decision to swing step for a finish. Okay, so he's going to gather quickly. He's going to punch and gather quickly, swing his, his left leg over. That's step one, and then take one more step for the finish. Darius Baisley is the swing step master. Okay, so he's going to find his drop off a dribble release. There's the drop. A little bit further, there's the loaded step. Now here he has the choice, or he makes the choice, the decision to swing step. Okay, so he's going to punch and gather, swing the left foot over. That's one step, and then take the other step. All right, let's watch Baisley here. Okay, he's going to bound to create space laterally, find a drop and counter with the drop through. Okay, from here... He's going to use an inside dig to reset his drop. Okay, now pause it. All right, after the inside dig, he gets his momentum past that kind of that drop position, that drop stance, and finds the loaded step. Okay, because look at his right foot. It's off the ground, and he's really, really shifted on the left side. Okay, now this spin, he's going to get into a spin off of a loaded step. It's going to be a loaded step decision to spin. Okay, now this is going to be a little bit different than the the power stop spin or the the dribble spin okay because that the energy transfer is more outside to inside it's more off two feet to create momentum this is going to be the left foot transferring energy to the right he's going to be spinning and creating energy off the left off the right foot off the single leg right foot okay so the energy transfer is a little bit different and the whole the holding on to the ball the pocketing of the ball or the hanging of the ball on the spin it's going to be a little bit more pronounced uh, with this loaded step spin Okay, so let's hit play. We'll see it. See the pocket and the hanging. See the energy transfer off of one, one leg. Okay, now hit pause. He's going to dribble place. Okay, he's going to place that ball. Then then that, that left leg is going to come over, and he's going to definitely have a defined uh, float step where he can make decisions off of. Okay, so he's going to make a decision to gather and take two steps after, after this. Look at his eyes, too on the dribble placement. He knows exactly where he's placing the ball. Okay, so there's the gather and his first step. Second step, two foot accountability. All right, let's take a look at Damian Lillard here. here finds a drop, gets past that momentum wise. There's a loaded step, we'll hit pause. All right, so there's momentum carried off the drop into this loaded step territory. All right, now you see how the ball is pocketed pretty well. So he's going to decide to wrap off this. All right, so that wrap, it's going to have a different feel coming off the loaded step decision-wise than it would off early in the dribble step like those Ginobili clips, okay? So this ball now actually will have to hang in the air. He's going to have to wrap from a different starting point than he would if you were to wrap off of a dribble step. And it's going to get to a point of making a loaded step decision right there. Okay, we'll hit pause. At this point, this decision is being made, you know, past the, the dribble step being on the ground. All right, so he's going to decide to take a dribble, angle his right foot, get into an extended stop. Let's take a look at uh, Murray here. All right, finds a loaded step. We'll hit pause right off the skip. Okay, in transition, he kind of gets past that drop point. Okay, you can see the ball being pocketed. All right, he's going to wrap out of this. So this ball is going to really hang in the air. Let's hit play. Okay, there's the wrap. All right, we'll hit pause. Now, his footwork off of this is actually going to be like Ginobili's where he's going to establish a float step. That right 
that right foot is going to come in front. Okay, it's going to be establishing a, a flow step. It's not going to hop behind. Let's hit play. There it is. Okay. Now he decides to gather off the float step. There's a first step and second step. Extended hand layup. All right, let's take a look at Shea here. Okay, he finds his loaded step. We'll hit pause. Off, you know, gets past the drop, gets to a good loaded step. Look at the pocketing. Now he's going to wrap off this. Hit play. All right, pretty good. Now let's hit pause again. His left foot's going to hop behind his right foot. All right, this is what players are normally going to do off that loaded step wrap. All right, because of this, just watch his footwork. It, it takes a couple steps to establish a float step. Let's hit play. Okay, right there. Now he establishes a float step. All right, now we'll hit pause again. You see the you see Jokic defensively. He's in what we call a drop defense. Okay, so not the drop stance offensively, but he's in the drop defense. Okay, a lot of times these loaded step decisions happen versus drop because it happens. There's all the space to use your driving steps. All right, so you're going to end up and you're reading the game um, while you're in pick and roll offense. Okay, so you're naturally reading the game, so you're going to find a loaded step spot. Uh, more often than not versus drop defense if you're a guard and you didn't make that quick pocket pass and you have that ball and you're still probing you're going to end up finding a lot of these loaded step decisions versus this pick and roll coverage all right so here Shea is going to end up going loaded step it's going to make a decision to push cross all right let's take a look at lebron james here okay there's a loaded step you see the right foot off the ground decides to wrap Okay, good footwork off that. Nothing off the float step. Triple step the hands on top of the ball. All right, he's not really reading. Okay, float step. All right. Now we'll pause it right here. Gets to about a, a pretty good pause point with the loaded loaded step. Okay, now from here, he knows exactly what he's going to do. Okay, he's going to end up crossing to spinning. Okay, so the footwork on this will be exactly like the dribble spin. Okay, that power stop spin. But off the crossover, that left hand and the left foot will be the outside uh, step, outside foot. All right, and that will transfer energy to the inside foot, the right foot. Okay, so you're going to see it. And let's say play. Let's go and take a look at that. Okay, hit pause. See, now you're going to see on the spin, the momentum will be transferred. All right, from left foot to right foot. It'll be more of a two-foot spin in terms of creating energy. And then you'll, you'll see him carry that energy on. With, uh, with the top of his body. All right, let's take a look at LeBron here. All right, finds a good drop off the skip. Okay, nothing on the float step. Okay, now there's loaded step. Okay, he's going to decide to cross to do a spin. Okay, there's the cross. All right, let's hit pause. Okay, you see his feet right here? They're little... That momentum, that transfer is not as clean with, with both feet, okay? Because his, his, right, his right leg, I believe that's his right leg, is a little out of position, okay? So he's still going to hold accountability, but he doesn't have as much control, you know, in terms of creating that momentum with, you know, a, a good balance and then carrying that with the top. He's more out of control here, okay? So for him to find his steps will be a little bit harder. Now let's go ahead and hit play. Still gathered, still got some good balance on the first step. Ends up laying it up off the first. 